A 65-year-old avid bicyclist trailed over the beautiful Great Divide mountain bike route, unaware that it was going to be her last ride. In today's video, we are going to be talking about the fatal attack that happened to Leia Davis Logan and the real reason for her demise. Are you wondering how the attack took place? What exactly happened to Leia Davis Logan? Make sure you watch the video until the end for the full story because you do not want to miss this as you're watching Deadly Addiction. According to Dylan Key, who works at Great Divide Cyclery in Helena, the Great Divide route roughly follows the Continental Divide, occasionally zigzagging over it on gravel roads, dirt roads, trails, and some single tracks. With riders passing through expansive open meadows and over mountain ranges, the route through Montana is simply magnificent as he says. Any visitor to a national park will consider it a special treat to see a bear in the wild. While it's a thrilling situation, it's crucial to keep in mind that bears in national parks are untamed and can be harmful. They occasionally exhibit surprising behavior. Attacks against people have happened, however infrequently, and have resulted in fatalities and severe injuries. The 65-year-old Leia Davis Logan was a registered nurse who had previously worked in a hospital in Chico, California. She was a road cyclist, competed in mountain bike races, and loved the outdoors. She participated in the Mammoth National Championship Enduro in 2015 and took first place in the Women's Enduro 60 Plus Division. At the time, Logan's race was described as a blend of hard climbs and a demanding pro downhill circuit spanning four stages by Hammer Nutrition on Facebook. When I saw USA Cycling was offering women 50 plus and 60 plus an opportunity to race this caliber of an event in their age groups, I could not pass it up, Logan said after her victory. Logan also took first place in the expert women division of the 2013 Bidwell Bump, a mountain bike competition held in her hometown of Chico according to bio information on USA Cycling. According to her colleagues, she had a really good spirit. Mike Castaldo, president of the Chico Cycling Club, who has known Logan for almost 15 years, recalled that she always had a smile on her face, always lit up when she saw you, always gave you a big hug. But I think most of her identity was, you know, outside on the bike, enjoying the outdoors was her thing. According to Mary Flowers, another friend of the victim from Chico, Logan had been anticipating the bike journey to Montana for months. In addition to her sister and a friend, Logan has previously done lengthy bike trips. The small town of Avando, along the banks of the Blackfoot River, made famous by the movie A River Runs Through It, was the scene of Logan's pre-dawn mauling on July 6, 2021. The town is bordered by a vast area of forested terrain that is home to an estimated 1,000 grizzlies. According to detectives, Logan was offered to go to sleep at a hotel where her sister and their friend were staying, but she declined. Instead, Logan made the decision to set up camp next to Kim and Joe Cole, acquaintances they had made on the journey behind the museum. Miss Logan and the Coles were awakened by a bear that was close to their tents on July 6 at about 3.08 in the morning. The bear departed the area once they all stood up and started to make some noise. At that point, Logan moved her food, packaged snacks and dried lentils out of her tent and into a structure nearby while also bringing bear spray inside. The Coles went back to sleep, but at 4.05 in the morning, they were again awakened by a noise, and this time, they saw Logan being attacked by a grizzly bear. The man saw the bear pouncing up and down on Logan and her tent and yelled at it before spraying it with pepper. Emergency personnel were sent out as soon as they rushed for assistance. It was discovered that there were no evident indications of life after early attempts at CPR and AED. According to an autopsy, the male grizzly bear's 417 pounds or 189 kilograms weight shattered her neck and severed her spine, killing her instantly. Behind the tent, authorities discovered an almost entirely empty can of Frontiersman brand bear spray, black with a white label and missing the safety tab. The committee reported that the can, thought to be Logan's, had fresh oily residue on the outside and had a strong odor of capsaicin suggesting it had been deployed the morning of the attack. Now begs the question, what was the exact reason why the bear attacked? 
The interagency grizzly bear committee claims that the grizzly bear killed the California woman because it had been food conditioned. Leia Logan died as a result of the bear's predatory instinct, which it learned to use, according to an incident report written by the IGBC earlier this year. Even though Logan removed the food from her tent after the initial bear encounter, the report noted that two toiletry bags that had previously contained dried blueberries still had the aroma of berries on them and that no more food had been discovered within the tent. The investigation revealed that no one had cleaned up the area after leaving the food in the saddlebags of Logan's bike, which was leaning up against the structure 10 feet from her tent. Not all bears exhibit food conditioned behavior, exhibit predatory behavior, but for some unknown reason, a predatory response was triggered in this bear, according to the report from June 28. While foraging under the cover of darkness in Ovando, perhaps due to a simple movement made by the sleeping victim or a certain sound made by the victim, the bear reacted and ended up taking the life of Miss Logan. Three days after mauling Logan, the bear was killed when robbing a chicken coop close to Ovando. A third chicken coop was also attacked by the same grizzly bear in the hours following the mauling, according to DNA tests. Investigators estimated the bear's age to be between 4 and 7 years old. Castaldo claimed Logan was well versed in what she was doing and she recognized the dangers, implying that she may have laxed her guard while camped in a town as opposed to along the trail. According to 60 Minutes correspondent Bill Whittaker, both the grizzly bear and human populations in Montana have increased significantly since 1975, when the bears were given protection under the Endangered Species Act. According to the story, wildlife officials advise campers not to spend the night in their tent if a grizzly bear approaches one that is occupied. The investigators also recommended that the Tour Divide bike races organizers warn competitors that they are racing through bear and grizzly bear territory teach them how to store food safely, and advise them to carry pepper spray and stay alert. This terrible incident serves as a warning about the perils of nature. Bears and other wild creatures may survive with humans, but it's still vital to exercise caution and keep a sharp eye out for them because they can be rather unpredictable. The most crucial thing we can do to avoid disputes and encounters between bears and people is to keep bears away from human food. We must keep in mind that bears that have been fed can become violent. Bears may enter communities or campgrounds if bear attractants like rubbish, bird seed, or fish waste are left out. A person who permits bears to consume inadequately stored food or trash puts the lives of other people in danger. We offer our deepest sympathies to the family of Leia Davis Logan. May her name be an inspiration to all bikers out there. I sincerely appreciate you watching this video. I hope this can serve as a lesson to always be cautious and safe in all you do. Remember to hit the notification bell, subscribe to our channel, give this video a thumbs up, and leave a comment below by letting us know what you thought of it and what stories you'd like us to tell in the next one. Until then, we'll see you in the next one.